Hi, my name is Ahmed Davis, and in this screencast, I will be doing a presentation on the web editor called Expresso. Expresso is a great web editor that is very useful for streamlining your workflow as a web designer. Expresso has some great features such as cold folding, live styling, auto completion, a code navigator, and a commenting button. Espresso has support for languages such as HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, Python, XML, XSL, Markdown. Espresso was developed by a company called MacRabbit, and it is currently available on MacRabbit.com for purchase or demonstration. Now that we cover some of the particulars about Expresso, let's fire it up and see what this application can really do. As you can see, as soon as I fire Expresso up, um, you get a pa you, there's a panel that comes up for the projects. Now with the projects panel, um, you just hit a new project and say if you already have a folder with all your HTML, CSS already in it or if you um, just set up a folder you can just select that folder and then make it out of a project now I'm going to open up um, a project that I've already completed as a demonstration Now you can see in this in this project it has listed all of my project files that you can see here. Um, so I'm gonna open up my index file as a um, example. And in this example, the first thing that I wanted to, to cover is the snippets. Now with the snippets, you can also you you can um, have access to it comes packed with Now that we cover some of the particulars about Expresso, let's fire it up and see what this application can really do. Okay, when I fired up Expresso, the first thing that you will see is the projects panel. And in the project, what the projects panel does is it allows you to, to create a folder that will contain your project. When you hit this new um, project button, It'll bring up a dialog with um, the access to the folders that you want to save it in. You can create a folder or you can select the folder, navigate and select the folder that you want your project to be contained in. And for this example, I already have a project that um, is completed, that I've completed. So that's what I'm going to use for this presentation. Okay, and the first thing that I want to bring to your attention is um, the snippets. Now with the snippets, um, Expresso comes packed with doc types. And it also comes with, because it supports HTML5, it has an HTML5 doc type. But what's really cool about the snippets panel is that you can um, have your own personal users. You can enter your own personal user snippets. And for example, like I have Eric Meyer's CSS reset here. And you can click anywhere. If I was working with CSS, for, an exa for example, I can insert that snippet. But right now, this is in my HTML page. But to give you an example, you can hit this button and then insert it right in, right in the code, right in for you. Um, the second thing that I wanted to bring to your attention that really is a time saver is when we're working as web designers. Um, a lot of times we want to comment our code. Now with commenting our code, you can comment your code for certain sections. And the cool thing about um, Expresso is that 
it knows the type of document that you're working with so it will use that type of comment and for example this is my HTML page when I hit comment and insert a comment in for me and the only thing I have to do is type in between these braces and that's it and the same thing with if I was working with CSS with the style sheet I can hit comment and it'll put the correct comment in for me. Okay, a great feature about um, Expresso is that one of the great features is that when I'm working with Expresso and I have to um, view my work in a browser it allows me to do it easy without coming going outside Expresso or going through my applications folder to find um, to, 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 to find a browser to open you know my application up with I can just right click my page and it you know I can select the browser that I want to work with say it's Firefox and I can open it up with Firefox for example it's working, it's working, it's working, and it's coming. And there we go. That's my um, page. Or it has another feature where you can view the um, you can actually view the code right in Expresso by hitting this little button and it'll bring it up. So either way, whatever your workflow calls for, whatever you're comfortable with, and then on the side panel you can see there's easy access to all of your um, files and folders that are in your project. And um, Expresso also, just like other web editors such as Dreamweaver, it also has um, an access. Well, you can program it to um, to sync to your server or to up, you know, to push your files to the server in real time. Or you can work on your so you can also work on a server like in real time. Now that we um, covered just about another cool feature in QuickTime is this navigator. I'm gonna click on my index file here to open up my um, HTML file, and you can see here on the right my um, navigator. Now, when I click HTML, it'll highlight all the HTML. If I click the head of the document it will give me the head of the what is in the head of the document and as you can see it can go it goes deep into the code of each section of each section of your code I say for instance if I select a body it gives me the body and then it gives me the elements within the body and the, the, the first um, element in my body is a div which is the wrapper so to give me what's in a div and then I can collect um, click um, the header and then I highlight the header and another cool thing that you can see here in um, this web editor is that you know all your code is numbered it has the, um, the lines that you can number it has code folding where I can fold the code I can click a button and I can um, fold each part of that code you know so I can have more space to work once I get done working with say if I complete the navigation and I can fold that piece um, another thing that you can see here is the, um, how it has different colors or highlights for the different elements in your code, which is another great feature, which makes you know makes your code stands out. Um, certain elements in the code stand out, so if you do have an error, you can quickly de detect the error. Okay, this wraps it up for this screencast. We covered the projects panel and how to create 
a project, snippets, the comment button, the preview, the navigator, and code highlights. And all of these things were built into Expresso to increase your productivity as a web designer. And again, Expresso is available on MacRabbit.com. It is only available for the Mac platform or OXX platform. Um, and it is available on the App Store, Apple's App Store, or it is available on MacRabbit.com for a purchase or you can download the demonstration. Thank you for viewing this um, presentation. Have a great day.